In order to build a company like this of this scale, it's all about people and it's not about the money. I mean, honestly, right now, the challenge we have is finding the right people for the business and for the company, and not about the money. It's always, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's easier to get access to capital, especially at the stage of the company is, but it's not that easy to get access to the really right talent for the company itself. So people, it's everything for us. So this is a story I'm hearing from everybody on the floor that how, that how difficult it is. So can you kind of walk me through uh, how you're doing that? I mean, I'm sure it helps that you're sort of beloved by the community in terms of getting to new talent, yes? Yes, I mean, one of the challenges building the technology, I mean, there are different layers. There is the innovation. So the innovation, most of innovators, they're more like artists. Uh, that's where the challenge is, really to finding the people that can innovate and, and basically give them the freedom to really uh, develop uh, the product. Let, let me pause you right there. Describe what you mean specifically about giving the freedom to innovate. Well, what I mean by giving freedom is basically you have to give them some level of autonomy. Some level, like we have people, for instance, right now all over the world. I mean, I've got people in, in Norway and in, in, in Oslo. And basically, uh, you have to give them the idea and the vision about the company, the vision and the objectives, and then they go and run with it. They are so excited, uh, they have the tools, uh, and they have that, that, that creativity of innovating and coming up with an idea. And then you have to take those ideas and incorporate, it, incorporate that into your business model and say, okay, I think I can achieve those objectives in my business and go along with that. But also you have to understand the financing aspects that you have to be able to finance this as well because nothing comes free. So I think that's part of the challenge here. I don't think the, the kind of uh, the old model, the old economy would work of coming and defining a basically a deadline for a project and now we're gonna go for it and execute and get it done and sometimes things might not get be done on time with the open source you have to be a little bit more open-minded about these things certain things may not be able you may not be able to achieve so you have to be flexible you have to understand your people you have to give them a little bit more of an autonomy and a freedom to really innovate because without that uh, you're just going to have basically uh, people in operation just do whatever you tell them to do. So that's that's really the key component of this, you know. You're very fortunate that you have an enormous user base. I'm going to take a stab and guess that you've actually acquired all your employees through your user base. Am I making a good assumption there? It is a good assumption. Actually, <laughs> a lot of people who are hiring, they come from our community. And uh, as a matter of fact, most people who I hire, they came to us and say, well, we've been doing OpenVPN for quite a while. We've been using it. We love it. And we want to join the team. And I say, OK, you're welcome. You can join the team here. The common language is obviously programming and innovations and you know, uh, making progress. And that's what they, they feel good about, making progress. Right? If somehow you can connect their progress with the business objectives, you've done a great job as a CEO.